Today on Afrotech News, more than one in three credit card holders ended 2019 with more credit card debt than they started with. Want to be a better leader at work? Ask your team. The top black exec at Alphabet, home to Google, steps down. Why? I'm Will Lucas for Afrotech News. David Drummond, Alphabet's top lawyer, is resigning at the end of the month amid a string of reported sexual misconduct allegations. The board of directors at Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google, conducted investigations into how the company handled claims of sexual misconduct. That investigation recently concluded. Drummond has been with Google for more than 20 years and helped at IPO. He found himself in hot water back in 2018, if you recall, when reports first surfaced. Joma denies his departure is a result of the allegations or the now-concluded investigation and attributes his sunset to general executive leadership changes at Alphabet, saying in a memo, with Larry and Sergey now leaving their executive roles at Alphabet, the company is entering an exciting new phase, and I believe that it's also the right time for me to make way for the next generation of leaders. Vox reports that prior to the announcement, he'd been cashing out his stake in Alphabet and has reportedly sold $200 million worth of stock this month alone. A survey of almost 800 credit card holders found that nearly one in five with debt didn't make any progress towards paying it off last year. What's more, 35% of card holders entered 2020 with more credit card debt than they had in the beginning of 2019. While a new year may feel like a fresh slate, your finances aren't necessarily guaranteed to change for the better when the ball drops in Times Square. Not paying off your debt has some obvious financial repercussions, says our partner Lending Tree, such as having to pay interest or risk falling into delinquency or collections. If and when another recession hits, it's important to have your financial house in order. Men were found to be more likely than women in the survey to have paid off all their credit card debt in 2019, while women were more likely to have not made any debt payoff progress. Why? Matt Schultz, chief industry analyst at ComparedCards.com, says women face a lot more headwinds compared to men. They're more likely to be affected by the wage gap or to be head of a single family household. There's just a lot stacked against women financially, he said, and that's something that's not going to change anytime soon, unfortunately. With so many of us in the hole, what can we do about it for the 2020? Linden Tree says, consider these tips. Open a balance transfer card. If used responsibly, you may be able to pay off your debt faster by transferring your existing credit card balance to a new card that offers an introductory 0% APR for a set amount of time. Ask your credit card issuer for a lower interest rate. You might be pleasantly surprised and your credit card issuer may be more flexible than you think. After all, they don't want to risk you defaulting on what you owe them. Get the entire list, which includes more things to try, by checking out the full story on afrotech.com. In case you missed the memo, leadership is about your ability to serve, not to be served. Whether your ultimate goal is to reach more customers or become known as the most innovative company in the world, your success as a leader depends on a team. So how are you serving your employees? Leadership coach and speaker John Maxwell once said, people buy into the leader before they buy into the vision. Our writer offers some advice on why leaders should seek feedback from their team and how to do it. Start by asking these questions from your team. One, by this time next year, what skill do you want to have learned? Most employees want to grow in their roles and your job is to help them get there. Asking questions about their goals and areas for growth helps employees feel like you care about their future. Two, what do you spend a lot of time doing that has the least impact on our goals? Sometimes there's a disconnect between what we do, what we're capable of doing, and where we want to be in the future. So seek employee feedback to foster a sense of ownership and connect the dots to things that matter most. There's more in the piece, which you can check out now on afrotech.com. Are you subscribed to the Afrotech Daily Newsletter? If not, are you really about that life? All the exclusive content and other subscriber-only promotions can only be secured by becoming an Afrotech Insider. Join for free at join.afrotech.com now. I'm Will Lucas. And for the latest in black tech, business, and startup stories, visit afrotech.com.